I don't want to insult Mary Jane, but she's just like a normal person who can't do shit. And she's gonna get, you know, her teeth kicked in if these guys that are armed to the teeth with assault rifles find her. And he's like, oh, I hope Spider-Man is just happens to be around to save my ass. Hey guys, how's it going? Today I'm going to be doing a review on Spider-Man uh, for the PS4. It just came out. It's created by Insomniac Games and it is published by Sony Interactive Entertainment. Alright, so getting into the review, I guess the easiest way to break it down is that there's three different aspects to the game. Um, the first one would be the movement and how Spider-Man moves and interacts within the city, how he gets from one place to another. The second part of the game is when you're just fighting the bad guys. And then the third part of the game is when you're doing like the collectibles or the side missions that are like slightly different variant than the straight up fighting the bad guys. Uh, so the movement within the game was really awesome. From the get go, when you're jumping off the first building and you're just swinging around, you're like, damn, this is fucking sweet. The, uh, they really got the movement of Spider-Man down. It is the system where he does have to connect like his webs to buildings it's not like the old one where you could just connect to the sky and swing around but it's to its benefit because it changes the way that you visualize the city when you go from like these tall skyscrapers and you're just kind of swinging around looking at the whole city when you go down into like even like central park where the only thing that you can connect to are these low-hanging trees and you're really close to the ground you have to swing close down towards the cars and stuff it changes the pace of the game and it makes it feel really good just like swinging moving around the city uh the fighting here is relatively simplistic they did add in a lot of moves that you can unlock them through the skills perk tree and also there's different outfits that you can earn through various means certain achievements or getting x amount of collectibles and these suits also have special powers within them but the the core fighting mode of the game is really well done it's very fluid, feels good once you get the, the learning curve of the buttons down and the, the different movements that Spider-Man can do. And then the added supplement of the bonus moves makes the game even better. And the third aspect of the game is kind of like, I'll, I'll combine both the side missions and the uh, collectibles. Um, you'll go around the city <laughs> and there'll be these side missions that are actually really you know really fun and interesting with these different characters that you'll interact with and those are really really well done those are like seamless part of it feel almost like part of the gameplay and they're worth doing because they give you the experience to level up but the collectibles however there are challenge based ones where you have to you know defeat x amount of enemies in a certain amount of time or move within the city within a certain amount of time those are perfectly fine but the ones the the research science ones and the ones where you have to collect the pigeons are stupid <laughs> like you're just like trying to keep up with a pigeon trying to collect it from you know for this guy or whatever i missed the backstory it was too stupid for me to pay attention and then research facilities with for harry osborne and you know some of them are really really dumb and you have to swing through like fart clouds and I, I don't know. He's collecting samples and it's all for these like science research stuff. It was really dumb. I didn't enjoy it at all. And then there was two other collectibles. One was like the you go around collecting the black cat clues. She's trying to like set up a robbery or something. I think that's going to lead into the DLC that's coming up. And then also they have you going around the city taking uh, photos of various buildings, both you know, like New York classic landmarks and also buildings that they inserted that are part of the Marvel Universe, like um, Avengers Tower, for example. And those that, those were actually really cool, taking the photos and highlighting, you know, the buildings that they put into the game. I also really did not like the, you know, the like slide puzzles where they're taking the, you know, the petri dish slides and you have to match them up and i thought that was kind of stupid also with the the circuit puzzles like kind of took me out of the game a little bit yeah they were fun to do at first but then i was just like come on man what the fuck are we doing i understand that peter parker is like a this is a scientist and it helps kind of like develop the story with peter and dr octavius but it's like come on man nobody wants to be you know fucking around with circuits and petri dishes when they're could be out fighting as spider-man i also thought the levels where you're 
not Spider-Man and your other characters within the story were kind of silly, like sneaking around with Mary Jane and there's dudes armed to the teeth that can murder you and you're Mary Jane that can't do shit was kind of silly. All right, for a final rating, I'm gonna give Spider-Man by Insomniac Games on the PS4 an eight out of 10. The presentation, I'm gonna give a three out of three. The, uh, the graphics, the sound, the music, everything worked really well together to make you feel like you were actually Spider-Man and playing in a Spider-Man game. <laughs> uh, you know, like the shooting the webs and the way the music picked up when you jumped off buildings, everything felt really nice. Uh, gameplay, I'm gonna give a two out of three. They were, you know, the, the swinging from building to building was fucking awesome. And then the fighting was, you know, it was average and typical, you know, Batman kind of style fighting. But the certain collectibles and then playing as the non-Spider-Man characters, it was kind of, you know, kind of dumb. I didn't really want to do it. Okay, so the replay value within the game, um, Insomniac, I believe, tweeted out that they're going to do a new, a new game plus. So you're gonna get to keep all your old stuff on your first playthrough. And then also they have a uh, DLC coming out. Um, there's gonna be three different DLCs. I think you can pick them up for like 30 bucks or 25 bucks if you get them all, if you pre-order them or something like that. Price. Game, obviously, you know, it's a AAA title. It came out brand new, is $60. And then I'm in the mindset that they have the, the effing audacity to charge you 25, 30 bucks for DLC Put shit in the fucking game that leads into the DLC when they could have just released it as part of the game. I don't want to get too much and get on my soapbox, but uh, the price is kind of a sore point with me. They should have included all those three, three DLC for free, or it should be part of the main game to begin with. But I understand that's not a current modern day business model. So, All right, so for miscellaneous and special, it's going to get a one out of one. The immersion factor was through the roof. You really felt like you were Spider-Man. Thanks, thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed the review and I'll catch you next time. Bye.